History is a tale told by the victors. Who are the victors? Barbaric warriors, mad kings, and greedy traitors. Maybe most of our history is made of fables fabricated by those glorious victors. This is the story of Countess Ershabit Batri. Not just as history remembers her, but also how I remember her. Countess Ershabit Batri was born into one of Hungary's most illustrious families in 1560. Your future wife. She was promised to Ferenc Nadeshi at birth. Ershabit, come here. They stole a horse that he served to be punished. History tells us that from a very early age, Ashabit learned to be fearless, unfeeling, curious. This seed will turn into a big tree one day, and pitiless. in the ground, they do not grow like seeds. A seed is alive, whereas people we bury in the ground are dead. But if we bury them alive? They suffocate and die. So we get eaten by worms? The body melts away, but the soul passes on to heaven or hell. You will go to heaven just like your papa. The soul is eternal, my dear. If it was not, I would have to raise an army to conquer death. He's so lovely. I want him to be my husband. When he reaches marrying age, you will be old and born. Count Nadashi will be your husband. <laughs> I beg you not to harm him. I love him, Mother. Beyond that, the only love you shall feel is to our Lord. You should respect your husband. But as for peasants and servants, you must never fornicate with them. Your peasant will die as he deserves, and you will stay in your room so no one knows of your silly mistake. <laughs> it is a boy. Leave. But mother, my child. She was married to Ferenc Nadashi at 15. Her mother died soon after. Ejibet managed her estate masterfully. Soon, many noble families from the kingdoms of Bohemia to Poland were indebted to her and her husband. She even lent large sums of money to the king himself. She gave Nada she three children. The first child was born ten years into their union. She hardly spent any time with her husband. In less than 50 years, the Turks had slaughtered and enslaved half the population of Hungary. Nadashi and his men were the only warriors they feared. Ajibit founded a hospital for the poor, but Bad Tongue said that many of them never came out alive. Though a devoted Protestant, Ajibit believed in many heretic theories. Davulia, who some claimed was a witch, managed Ajibit's wealth so well that some believed she knew the recipe for making gold. The combination of Nadashi's military prowess and Ashibit's intelligence and unbending will quickly made them the most feared, respected, and powerful family in the kingdom. Good afternoon, my king. Good afternoon, dear Count Nadashi. Your Majesty, I have come to demand my pay for this last year of war. Of course. Uh, you're welcome to stay for a few days, if you wish, while we gather the amount. We're having executions all day tomorrow. Mm. Unfortunately, I have no time to wait. I must leave before nightfall. What a shame. Half in gold and half in taras will do. 
Good day, my king. A gift from the king. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> With what he still owes us, he should have gotten me the Holy Grail. <laughs> my pay. Leave. And... Oh, I feel a bit sick. It is the wine. My head it's hurts. Away. You're burning up. Let me get down Vulia. She will surely have a good remedy for you. I do not need the help of Satan. <laughs> Saved me, my love. I can see the beautiful morning light. I'm sorry, dear, but he's gone. Count Ferenc Nodeshi was a good husband and father, but above all, a great warrior. Today he is standing joyfully with Jesus at the right hand of God. Soon we will be with him at their side for eternity. I have sent the soldiers back to war. You will let encode it here while I'm gone. I must bring the children to a safer place. And show the court Firenze's death has not weakened me. Are we ever coming back, Mother? Of course. But for now, you will stay in Vienna. You will learn music, French, and Latin with the best teachers. And Aunt Clara will take you to see plays and fireworks. Fireworks? Yes. You see, it is essential to pay soldiers well. I know, dear Countess. But the peasants who escaped the slaughter are dying of hunger. Please, have patience and allow me to pay you later. It would be difficult Should to... Should I assign a guardian to manage your estate? You know I disapprove of a widow handling her lands alone. I can manage perfectly well. You know my husband had little to do with such matters. Well, then you can sell some land, hire younger men, and pay them less. I'm not too keen to impoverish my estate and send children to war, but if you demand it, I will. I will keep the Turks out of what is left of Hungary, no matter what it costs me. You are my best ally. Thank you, dear Terzo. I've heard the Baron of Arada is always... 